Hello, welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. Uh, today we want to do a practice problem with uh, Einstein's famous E equals MC squared equation. So here's a practice problem. According to Einstein, how much energy is stored in a 0.5 kilogram object? So of course his famous equation is uh, E equals MC squared. Kind of like Pythagorean theorem and uh, Newton's second law seems to be equations we easily remember. So according to Einstein, how much energy is stored in a 0.5 kilogram object? So Mr. Einstein. So before we uh, do any calculations, we always like to go over the uh, equation units and terminology. So here we go. All right, so. Einstein's equation says that energy equals the mass times the speed of light squared. So before we solve physics problems, we should always know the equations and the units that go with the equation. So energy is E, and the units for energy are joules. Uh, mass is M in physics, and we use kilograms for the units. And we, speed of light represents is represented by little c, lowercase c. And the units for the speed of light are meters per second. If you look at the terminology, you've got energy, mass, and the speed of light, which travels in a vacuum at about 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Feel free to pause the video and take notes if you need to. All right, so now that we've gone over the uh, equation and the units that match with each variable in the equation or, or symbol, and we also looked at the terminology, let's go ahead and uh, solve the, the problem. But before we solve any problem, I always like to talk about uh, strategy we use. I like to use uh, what's called the circle label method to uh, start gathering our data from the, the actual question. So here we go. Coordinate Einstein, how much energy is stored in a 0.5 kilogram? So what I do here is a circle kilograms, and I match it with the symbol in the equation, which is mass. If I keep going, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So I know that matches with uh, C in the equation. And so energy is what we're going to be calculating. So the next step we'd like to do in a problem is uh, once we have the do uh, data collected, I'd like to put it in an organized fashion so that uh, when you get to more difficult problems, it, it's easier to, to um, solve it. So use what I call a T-bar here. And on the left side, I put the knowns. On the right side, the unknowns. So it's real easy to see. Where, where to plug into the equation once you have it organized. So mass is 5 kilograms, C is 3 times 10 to the 8. Uh, energy is what we're looking for. And so you can see easily that 5 goes there. Speed of light. So once you take the mass and you square the speed of light, you end up with 4.5 times 10 to the 17 joules. Uh, what I was trying to tell my students is you got to practice using that EE button to get to the power. So if you have a, like a TI calculator, TI-30, TI-80 series, um, an easy way to get to the power of 3 times 10 to the 8, you do something like 3, then you'd hit the second button on your calculator, and then you'd hit the EE button, and then you just follow it with the power, and then you would just hit your X to the 2 button to square it. So again, the hardest, probably the hardest part of this problem is making sure you know how to use the calculator.